Using shaded sketch contours in SolidWorks 2017 lets you view closed sketch contours as shaded entities. This setting makes it easy to identify closed contours, move closed contours in a single step, quickly apply sketch relations or mirror the sketch entities, and quickly extrude closed contours. Let's take a look at a few of the benefits of using shaded sketch contours in more detail. By default, closed sketch contours like the rectangle you see here are shaded. The shaded sketch entities can then be moved by simply clicking the shaded area and dragging it. You can toggle this setting on and off by going to the Tool drop-down menu, and under Sketch Settings, select Shaded Sketch Contours. Or you can add it to the Sketch tab by searching for it and dragging it onto the Command Manager. With this setting turned off, I'll sketch a circle. And as you can see, SolidWorks creates the circle as it normally would. But when I activate the Shaded Sketch Contours setting and sketch a new circle, SolidWorks automatically shades it in. Shaded Sketch Contours also make applying sketch relations quick and easy. If I want to make these two circles equal to each other, all I have to do is control select the shaded region of both circles and click the Equal icon from the Context toolbar. You can move each contour by simply clicking and dragging the shaded regions without altering its shape or size. And you can even create subcontours like you see here. You can still move the contours individually. Or if you want to move them together, simply control select both regions and then move them. Being able to drag contours is particularly helpful for complex sketch contours like the one I have here. Previously, the Move Entities tool had to be used to move entire sketch contours. By using shaded sketch contours, selecting and moving complex contours is fast and simple, increasing the speed of your overall modeling workflow. There are many more benefits, like helping you identify micro lines that you may not have even known existed, or even mirroring multiple entities with a single click. Before I wrap this up, let's take a look at one more example. As you can see, this feature has multiple subcontours. The outermost shape is the lightest, and the innermost circle is the darkest shade of blue. By pressing Alt on the keyboard, you can see that the contours highlight as I move the cursor over them. To select individual contours, all you have to do is click the shaded area. When I do, the context toolbar appears with the Extruded Boss Base tool available. By selecting the icon from the context toolbar, I can quickly set the properties of the extruded boss and create the feature.